Just waving palms. And you dropped, you dropped one. All right. Let's, All right. let's, let's get on out of here. All right. Well, welcome to week two of FAC Kids Go. We're glad you are with us here in the arena. We hope you had a great time waving palms earlier. Uh, we had fun waving palms. I, I had fun waving palms. We sure did. And we're not done waving palms because here's what we want you to do. For the Let's Move part of FAC Kids Go, we want you to have a palm waving dance party in your house. So you're going to do that to a song called Hosanna Rock. It's going to happen, come up in a little bit on your screen. So take your palms if you have palms. You could draw a palm on a piece of paper. You could wave a shirt. You could wave a sock. Right, you could wave your arms. You could wave whatever you want. So have an awesome dance party to Hosanna Rock, and then we'll come back in a little bit. Here you go. We're back. Have some good palm waving. Did you have some good palm waving? Careful, don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself palm waving. Um, but you're not done, because I'm gonna pause the video. I want you to pause the video, actually. And you need to decide in your family who had the best palm waving form. It's gonna be me. Who in your family had the best palm waving form? Pause the video and decide that right now, go. All right, and we're back. We hope you picked somebody from your family because I was the best here. And so here we go, you know, and it is regardless of who was best, it's great to celebrate and worship Jesus our King. We have so many reasons why we can worship Jesus and we're gonna keep worshiping him and celebrating him today. But from here on out, it might look a little different because we're gonna be talking about Jesus having to suffer and die at the end of the week when he rode into Jerusalem on that Palm Sunday. So 
Andy Vi, what's our let's focus point for today? Our let's focus point is this. Jesus suffered and died for my sins. And our motions look like this. Jesus suffered and died for my sins. Let's do that all together. Jesus, Jesus suffered, suffered and, and died for my sins. sins. And yeah, you know, this can be a hard thing to understand. Maybe you've seen a movie where they try to show what it might have looked like for Jesus to be beaten and carry his cross and be crucified. And, you know, that can be kind of hard to watch. Yeah, don't I know it. Those kind of movies always make me real sad, kind of scared too. I don't enjoy watching people get hurt in person or in a movie. Yeah, me neither. But it is important for us to try to understand why Jesus went through all of those horrible things. So one reason is, if you remember last week, we talked about a chapter in the Bible, we read a verse from it actually, that talks has a lot of prophecy in it, mm -hmm. talks about Jesus suffering. Um, do you remember which one? Isaiah. Very good. Isaiah 53. Maybe you read it this week, but if you haven't, we're going to read a few verses from that and uh, take a look at that in a minute. Well, don't forget the other reason that Jesus suffered and died for us, little Timmy. It goes right along with today's Let's Focus point. When Jesus suffered and died, he paid the price for our sins, all done and for all time. Yeah, yeah, we need to get to that too. And that's not always easy to explain, is it? No, it's not. But... That's why your Auntie Vi is here. Isn't that right, little Timmy? I have a right. great way to explain that to you and the kids and families. But let's dive into all that prophecy stuff first. Okay, let's do that. So before we look at Isaiah 53, I want to tell you about another chapter in the Bible. It's Psalm 22. You might want to read that together this week, too. That also has a lot of verses in it that talk about the suffering that Jesus would go through. But today we're going to look at Isaiah 53 verses 3 through 6. You're going to see it on the screen. We're going to read it here in our Bible. And we want you, if you can read, we want you to read along with us, okay? Here we go. It says, Isaiah 53, 3 through 6, He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and familiar with suffering. Like one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he took up our infirmities and carried our sorrows, yet we considered him stricken by God, smitten by him, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities, the punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his wounds we are healed. We all, like sheep, have gone astray, each of us has turned to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. So, trying to understand why Jesus had to go through all of these horrible things. Andy Vi, how are you going to help us with that? Well, I'd love to help you. Have you ever had to take a punishment for something that you didn't do? That something that somebody else did? Well, no. And I wouldn't want to do it, especially if it wasn't something I did. Well, right. But what if you did do something wrong and you had no way to pay the price, that huge punishment, for the wrong that you did? Would you want someone else to step in and pay it for you? Well, sure, that'd be great if someone would do that for me, yeah. All right, let's pretend. Let me tell you a story. Let's say you were driving with your favorite teddy bear. Which I do that a lot. He was sitting in the front seat with you, but you didn't have him buckled in. Now, what you didn't know was that it's against the law not to have your bear buckled. So you get pulled over by the police for not bear buckling. And what you also didn't know is that the penalty for not bear buckling was a year in jail. A year in jail? I don't want to go to jail for a year. Well, of course not. Nobody wants that. So you're sitting in front of the judge who says, you're going to jail for a year, but then something happens. Your Auntie Vi steps in and says, send me to jail. I'll take his place so he doesn't have to. The judge agrees, and now I'm off to jail and you're free to go. Auntie Vi, you'd do that for me? In this story, I sure would, little Timmy. I love my favorite nephew. Huh. Wow, thanks. Thanks. But 
So what does that have to do with Jesus suffering and dying? Well, the penalty for our sin, for everybody's sin, isn't just a year in jail. It's death, our own death. It says that in Romans 3.23. But God loves us so much that he didn't want us to die. Yeah, it says that in John 3.16. Right. And God didn't want to pay the price for our sin and then us for us to have to keep paying it again and again every time that we sin. So he wanted to wipe out sin once and for all. So instead of us dying, he sent Jesus to take our place. Exactly. Jesus came here to earth and lived a perfect life. He willingly took our place and was sacrificed for our sins. He paid the price that we could never pay. Hmm. And Jesus, so he was the like once for all price paid for our sins. He was the sacrifice for our sins. He gave himself up for our sins. So that fits right in with our let's focus point this week, doesn't it? Would exactly. you lead us in that again? Let's say it again together. Jesus, Jesus suffered, suffered and, and died, died for, for my, my sins. sins. Well, boys and girls, moms and dads, what a great time it is to talk about Jesus paying the price for our sins. And this week in Palm Sunday and next week in Easter, um, we can learn about the fact that Jesus didn't just pay the price for our sins. He did that, but he also conquered sin and death, didn't he? So for our Let's Think time today, let's have a conversation with your family about Jesus paying that price for your sins and you being forgiven. Mom or Dad, maybe you could tell the story of when that happened in your life. When you asked Jesus to forgive you of your sins, asked him to come and make you a new creation, asked him to come in and be in charge of your life. Or kids, you could tell that part of the story of your life as well. You know, and if that hasn't happened yet, now's a great time to talk about it. Following Jesus and asking him to come into your life is the best and most important decision you could ever make. Right. So, so that they can have a talk about that, let me close in prayer, huh? Jesus, we thank you that you came to earth and lived a perfect life because you love us so much. And thank you, God, for sending your son to die in our place, to pay the price once and for all for our sin. Thank you that we can be made new and be forgiven for our sins. And thank you that um, we don't have to pay that price you did it for us. We're so thankful for that, and we're so excited uh, not just to wave palms today and to think about what's happening the rest of this week, but we're excited to think about next week when we celebrate you rising from the dead. Thank you, Jesus, for such a great morning. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So have a great conversation today. Read Psalm 22. Read Psalm, uh, Isaiah 53. And remember how important it is, the price that Jesus paid for our sins, for your sins, for my sins, for our sins, once and for all. We are so glad you joined us for FAC Kids Zoe this week, and um, we're going to be back next week for Easter, mm -hmm. I think. It's going to be fun. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. All right, we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.